As almost anyone working in radio or television will tell you, losing your job is more of an occupational hazard than probably a lot of other jobs. But after 30 years in radio and 13 years as the WIOD morning show host, Mike Ranieri may be the exception to the rule. Only two minutes until 9 o'clock, and of course at 9 Listen to him. Mike Ranieri's resume reads like, well, a broken record. From Raleigh, I went to Jacksonville, Jacksonville to Cleveland, Cleveland to Jacksonville, and Jacksonville back to Cleveland. And then I came down here. I was in the rock and roll business for a long time. First job I had was on a show at WRAL in Raleigh, North Carolina, called the Pepsi Teenagers. On Sunday night, we went in and played records and read requests. This one is for Freddie and Barbara, and this one is for Jimmy and Alice. And but after years of stacking the wax, Ranieri says he's in South Florida for the duration. In July, Ranieri will celebrate his 13th anniversary at WIOD as host of the morning program. During that time, he's endured a number of changes in the station and his program's format. It's driven me crazy, basically. But, uh... Oh, well, you've got to adjust. You know, we've gone through the changes here and changes there. And just waddle on through. Listeners tuning in to WIOD get it all. News, weather, sports, business, traffic. You're listening to News Talk Radio 610 WIOD. We can inform the listener by doing so much news in the morning. And then when we come on at 9, we can talk about some of the stories that are in the news. If it's a light story, we can joke about it. So we, I think, better inform the listeners because we do have that vehicle. Hello. Ranieri occasionally plays a song during his show, but it's the callers who determine the content and pacing. The women that told you that they snored, you put them in the Guinness Book of Records. Yeah, but this, this says 15% of women snore and 25% of men snore. This is according to some sleep experts. Hello, Mike Ranieri? Yeah, crocodile dummy, right. Right. I don't snore. You know how I know? How do you know? I stayed awake last night to see if I did, and I didn't. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <clears throat> and, and another illuminating conversation with Crocodile Dummy. You asked me a minute ago, do we have any? That's a regular right there. Crocodile Dummy from Loxahatchee or somewhere. Ranieri also gets help from producer Roger Maglin, who's constantly running in and out of the broadcast booth. He feeds Mike jokes and screens the calls to keep the show from losing its momentum. We taking line one? No. Okay, there's another career dashed on the rocks of hopelessness by Roger, who decides who will or who will not become a star. A special feature of the Ranieri program is the 9 to 10 hour when Ranieri is joined by newscasters Dorothy McIntyre and Bill McQuaig for some mid-morning madness. Uh, there's 10,000 places I could have gone this morning and not gotten all this grief. Instead, I came to News Talk Radio 610 WIOD and get beat up by Dorothy. I'll be nice. But McIntyre says the real attraction is Ranieri. They listen because they want to get the morning started on a happy note, and Mike Ranieri does that. It's still fun to come in here and do this. If, I, if it wasn't, then I'd have to think about doing something else, like winning the lottery for $8 million next Saturday night and retiring to the islands or something. But I still have fun. <laughs> Off air, Ranieri spends most of his time at Mikey's Place, a restaurant that does serve beer and wine, and as Bob Soper likes to put it, some pretty darn good chili. Now, he also serves on the board of directors for the Boys Club of Greater Miami, as well as helping out in many other community service projects. And the reason I tell you that is to show that he gives back to the community that is given to him for 13 straight years. Well, it's no question he is really a class act. He really is. And he's popular in the community, and he stays on top, and he does it all without ever offending anybody. Uh -huh. I think she's referring to somebody who was on the show yesterday, maybe. What could I be thinking of? Well, kind he, of a large he, fellow. He doesn't offend time. anybody, possibly, except uh, Neil Rogers. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. and Neil, Neil will probably rip Ranieri tomorrow for, oh, for being somebody. such a nice guy, you know? But, you know, you can't say Neil has a lot of listeners. He's he does. He has a lot of listeners, and, and they're lucky they can tune in every day to uh, Job of the Hut. <laughs> quality programming, Steve. Quality. Job of the Hut. Very disgusting fellow. <laughs>